All right, we want to take you to the biggest trial going on in Baltimore right now, the murder of a Hopkins researcher live outside the courthouse right now, Roosevelt left, which Rosie. Well, Jamie, Stephen Pitcairn was stabbed to death as he walked home from the train station on the night of July 25th last year. Today, two of the roommates of the man accused of killing Pitcairn, John Alexander Wagner, took the stand to talk about the night of July 25th, 2010. In testimony today, Wagner's girlfriend, LaVelva Merritt, told the jury that she and Wagner went out on the night of July 25th to rob someone. They were in bad need of drugs and needed money. Merritt says that when they confronted Pitcairn, Wagner stabbed him and that she hit him in the head and took his wallet and phone. Defense attorneys tried to discredit her, saying that she tried to cut a deal to get out of murder charges and had lied several times to police before she was charged with murder. But Merritt says she still could get 15 years in jail, and all she wants to do is do the right thing right now. She says, quote, you can sit until you are purple in the face and say that I was lying. I was lying, and I felt bad, and I'm telling the truth now. She then said, quote, what he did was blank, and I got to live with that for the rest of my life. Also on the stand today was one of Wagner's roommates, Kevin Cosby, Merritt's cousin. Cosby says that Wagner and Merritt came to him earlier in the evening on July 25th and told him that they were going to rob someone and asked him if he wanted to help. Cosby says no. He says later that night, when he came back to the apartment, Wagner and Merritt were inside breathing heavily. He asked them what was wrong, and Wagner told him, quote, I just beat up this white guy real bad. I felt really bad about it. He really hurt. I can't go outside no more right now. Now, Cosby later told the, ju told the jury that he was given the uh, Pitcairn's credit cards and he and another friend went to the gas station that was nearby and traded cash for gas. Now, coming up tomorrow, prosecutors are expected to call forensic experts to the stand to basically, to forensic experts to the stand from evidence that was collected at the scene. They may even wrap up their case tomorrow. Reporting live, Roosevelt Leftwich, ABC2 News. All right,